touched on this, that the game was within reach after halftime. And I felt like this was the turning point in the game. And maybe when the game was over, and I think Kyle Shanahan deserves a lot of criticism for this period of, of the game, because even after all of the stuff that I'm about to read off happens, I felt like they could have came back. And I felt like that was kind of demonstrated with, with Sam Darnold. And I was really disappoint, disappointed in Kyle Shanahan not going upbeat at all. I know Kurt Benkert, who was the guy who originally talked about how they do not practice two minute drill in practice. He was on Twitter being like, told you guys, because he's gotten a lot of shit for kind of exposing that because he was a third string quarterback for the 49ers in 2021. But so coming out of and coming out of halftime, normally so far this season, when the Niners have just dominated teams they have done that by completely outscoring their opponent in the third quarter they usually come out on their first possession and score and a lot of times they've scored against they they have the most they average the most 14 point uh two touchdown scores in the third quarter out of any team in the nfl this season I don't know if I articulated that well, but basically they've been the best. They've been the warriors of the NFL. They've been the best. A lot of the points in the third quarter. quarter. <laughs> Coming so out of that. So as fans and the last couple games, when the 49ers have looked bad, I get really like, I'm so someone who likes to live and die with each play. So I'm like, burn it all down. This is terrible. <laughs> so well, I'm to Eric Walker who's so much more calm. And last game, he was like, Ashley, you so overreact. Like, I never had in doubt that the 49ers were going to win because, and this this was prior to this game, but a different game where they were playing bad. He was like, oh, I never thought that the 49ers were going to win because they were playing the, such bad football that I felt like it couldn't get worse. It could only go up. And that there was no way that that bad of football was going to persist. And so I had Eric Crocker's voice in my head. And I'm like, okay, don't be over dramatic. There's no Brock Purdy has never thrown two interceptions in a game, let alone three. There's no way it could get any worse. This <laughs> is the worst they could play. So it's they could still come back. I'm I was giving myself optimism, trying to tell myself, even with that zero and what 37 record that Kyle Shanahan has in the friggin' second quarter, where if he's down by like eight points, he never comes yeah. back. I'm telling myself, I'm hyping myself in my head. I'm like, all right, this third quarter. So this is what happens. They come out. They're only down by four points coming out of the second half. They come out, um, run the ball, run the ball, by the way. Everyone's saying run the ball. They run the ball on the first play coming out of the half. It does. They get like two yards. It's terrible. They end up going three and out on that, on that drive. So immediate three and out. You're like, all right, well, that's not promising because we really wanted – we were really hoping that they turned it around. So then Baltimore scores right after that, which was actually right after the penalty that they got from Mitch Wisowski. Mitch I can't, Wisnowski. I can't say Horshada. I can't say this. Can't Can you say, say anything. It? Mitch Wisnowski. There you go. He feeling himself after everyone giving him way too much hype for like a little freaking trick play. Okay. I think people were having him up way too much on that stupid trick play. It only worked because the 49ers never do trick plays, So no one would have ever expected it. And he gets in his little ego and he's like, I'm a footballer, blah, blah, blah. Tries to freaking tough, tough man someone out of the, not even on the field anymore. Gets a penalty. So Baltimore gets the ball on like their 50 yard line. Basically they score a touchdown. So 49ers three and out Baltimore touchdown. Now the game is at 23, 12. You're like, all right, not ideal, but still winnable. Still they, they could come back. Once again, I'm telling myself, Brock Purdy has never played this bad ever. He's going to settle in the rest of the offense. Low key is doing great. Christian McCaffrey doing great. If Kyle Shanahan pulls his head out, out of his ass and gives him the ball, that would be <laughs> wonderful. Let's go. We can still do this. <laughs> so 49ers get the ball back immediately. First time, Brock Purdy throws an interception. So you're like, all right, not great. Not good. This is when you're cut. You start going, all right, no, nope, no. Nope. So then the Ravens get the ball back because of the interception. On their first throw, they throw a touchdown. So then it's 33-12. And then um, that was with like 11 minutes and something left in the third quarter. And I, I think Kyle Shanahan decided the game was over then because 
they had opportunities to try to score quickly and instead were like huddling up and slowly trying to go down the field. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I just felt like that was a really disappointing third quarter and just a disappointing series and how Kyle Shanahan handled it after that was just just disappointing with so much offensive talent i just i just can't believe that he was going so slowly um how did you feel about kyle shanahan potentially mailing it in at that at that time period did you feel that way watching the game or did you think maybe he was trying to protect brock purdy by by keeping the ball the game rhythm pace slower i thought it was kind of a mix of both like he probably thought like yeah it's like this guy got hurt again. There's only like what? There's only six minutes, seven minutes left in the game, right? Something like that. Um, After he yeah. got his stinger. Yeah. So yeah, roughly around there, six to eight minutes, whatever. Um, and it's like we're down multiple scores. I think three scores actually. And it's like he just got whacked. My offensive line is Swiss cheese. Um, honestly, shoot, you could probably argue Trent Williams took himself out of the game too. Like he already ag- he agitated his groin. It's like. I bet if it, they were winning or it was close and they needed him, it was winnable. He probably would have put himself in and just forced it. But at that point, you're down multiple scores. I mean, he like got to almost like a one score game because if if Sam Darnold hadn't thrown an interception, all the quarterbacks just threw an interception I know. in I the end zone. Felt like the and Kyle Shanahan would have given the ball to Christian McCaffrey and or Sam Darnold didn't shit the bed, they would have gotten that game within one score. Well, that was Sam Darnold not shooting the bed. That's just Sam Darnold being Sam Darnold. And then it was clear that Brock Purdy couldn't do anything. And it's like, even if he could do something, it's it's clear Brock Purdy didn't have it that game. And the offensive line woes were not going to make him any better. So it's like it, it really was it really was chalked. It 